Hey guys, it's Mr. HA's Tech here. Today I got a video on my dual displays for my MacBook Pro. So basically I had to go out and actually buy an adapter because as um, you may know, it, the uh, MacBook Pro only has one um, Thunderbolt port or mini display port. So you can only hook up one monitor to it. So right here we have my, um, this is my Asus 27 inch with webcam. And then we have this um, it's NEC. It's basically like a work computer. A lot of um, computer companies like Cisco mass buys them. And uh, yeah, so I have one of these. My mom got it from her work. And uh, pretty simple. We have it hooked up right here. And this adapter, it basically hooks up through USB. It goes to a DVI port. And it also includes three USB hubs. This cost me around $50 to $60. Um, I'll have to check out the prices. And I will leave a link down below. Um, but basically, you can hook up your dual display. So here we go. We can go right across. I will um, say that it is a tiny bit laggy. It's not um, nothing compared to an official DVI um, port. But it definitely is nice using the uh, dual displays. As you can see, it's a tiny bit laggy compared to when I do it over here. And um, also when we hit um, launch pad. No, not launch pad. Mission control. It's a tiny bit laggy where this one is perfect. However, it's nice to have as a side display. I usually have my mail client and um, Skype right here. So I can always do that. I can be on my um, web browser over here, and it's very nice. So, um, if you're wondering about the desk um, setup tour, that will be in a later video. I'm just showing you the dual displays. So, what this adapter comes with is the adapter itself, and um, a USB cord, a power cord, and a um, DVI to VGA. This monitor is actually hooked up to VGA because I only had two DVI cords. One goes to my 27-inch display and one goes to my mom's MacBook Pro. I let her use it just because I, um, her monitor looks like crap if she's not using the DVI, um, DVI connector. So if we go over to here, we can see my mess of wires. Um, I've been meaning to fix it up, but really it's not worth it right now. So here we have the DVI to VGA. Hooks up to this monitor. And we got a flash drive, a, um, what's that USB going to, um, oh, that USB go is going to my USB hub on my monitor. So, I, yes, I have a USB hub to USB hub. And then this one's going to my external hard drive, which is over there. So, I have quite a mess of wires, but it's definitely useful. It also extends the use of your MacBook Pro. So this goes right up to here, and it actually, um, you have to get this driver from Display Link, but it's very simple, and um, you can go ahead and get this driver, install it, restart, and you have your second display. So it does um, detect it as a completely different display if we go into System Preferences. And uh, of course, I'm not using my tripod, so people don't complain. Tripod is over there. I know whenever I do a video, without um, my tripod people start complaining. So here we can see it detects as two different displays and you can have up to um, three or four displays so if you buy another one of those adapters you can go ahead and hook it up and put another display and then you can also go ahead and open the MacBook Pro display and that will be three um, or four displays if you have the two USBs and the mini display port. Um, I like it just as is, have a side display the main display and then we have the MacBook Pro closed. So this is a really awesome setup and it's pretty cheap compared to some of the other ones. They're like mini display port to this and that. It's just a big um big problem thing. Um basically this was fifty dollars. Bought off bought it off Amazon and uh it really works seamlessly and uh definitely suggest it. So a lot of people were asking about the dual displays so I will well, here's the video. So, guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you want more video, more coverage, any more questions, leave it down in the comment section below. And even and look forward to the setup tour. And uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.